The Ghost at the Drive-In Movie is part of the Boxcar Children Mysteries series, originally created by Gertrude Chandler Warner. In this installment, the Alden children, Henry, Jesse, Violet, and Benny, are eager for a new adventure and find it when they learn about an old drive-in movie theater that's rumored to be haunted. The story begins when the Aldens are out exploring and they stumble upon the long-abandoned Starlight Drive-In Theater. As they venture closer, they notice that the drive-in is in a state of disrepair, with rusted equipment and overgrown vegetation. The old theater sparks their curiosity, particularly when they learn of the local legend that the drive-in is haunted by a ghost. Interested in the supernatural angle and intrigued by the history of the drive-in, the Aldens begin to investigate the ghostly rumor and the theater's past. They learn from the townspeople that the drive-in was once a popular spot until strange occurrences started to drive customers away. The theater's decline was further hastened by the supposed ghost, leading the owner to shut it down. Taking the initiative, the children decide to help clean up the drive-in with the idea of reopening it for a charity event. They believe that by uncovering the truth behind the haunting and revitalizing the space, they can dispel the spooky myth and bring the community together for a good cause. As they work to clean up the drive-in, they uncover various clues that hint at the mystery of the ghost. They find unusual objects left behind, such as an antique locket, an old film reel, and a diary belonging to the former owner of the theater, which contains cryptic entries that seem to relate to the ghost story. Their investigation leads them to various members of the community who share their memories and experiences of the drive-in, including the former owner, who has since grown old and moved on from the failed theater. They also encounter a suspicious figure lurking around the drive-in, which adds a layer of urgency and danger to their quest. In true boxcar children fashion, the siblings work together using their unique strengths. Henry's leadership and problem-solving skills, Jesse's attention to detail, Violet's creativity, and Benny's enthusiasm and energy. They manage to sort through the evidence, deciphering the truth from mere superstition and folklore. Through their sleuthing, the Aldens discover that the so-called ghost was actually a series of misunderstandings and tricks played by various individuals for different motives. One person was trying to find a hidden stash of money, rumored to be left behind by the original owner, while another was attempting to scare people away to purchase the property at a lower price. With the aid of the locals, the children also locate old movie projectors and other necessary equipment to restore the drive-in. As the story progresses, they repair the screen, clean up the lot, and eventually get everything in place for the reopening. The climax of the book occurs on the night of the charity event, when the drive-in is once again filled with people from the town. As they watch the movies on the big screen, the atmosphere is one of nostalgia and excitement. The drive-in feels alive again a testament to the Aldens' hard work and determination. Just when the event seems to be a success, a shadowy figure appears, giving the impression that the ghost has returned. However, the children quickly expose the culprit, someone attempting to create a distraction to search for the rumored hidden money. The Aldens confront the individual, who is revealed to be one of the locals who had been planting clues to perpetuate the ghost story. With the truth unveiled, the ghost rumor is finally put to rest, and the community can enjoy the revitalized drive-in without fear. In the end, The Ghost at the Drive-In Movie is a tale of mystery, teamwork, and community spirit. The boxcar children demonstrate that with perseverance and collaboration, even the most haunted of places can be transformed into a source of joy and unity for everyone. The drive-in theater becomes a symbol of this transformation, no longer a place of eerie legends, but rather a beacon of entertainment and fellowship for the town. The siblings' successful resolve of the mystery once again proves that not all ghosts are to be feared, and that sometimes they're just stories waiting to be debunked by those clever enough to look beyond the tales. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.